Hey guys and welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to see how we can set up the video capture in OpenCV. So if you're not familiar with it, you actually like have to specify some different kind of like parameters to be able to get higher resolution on your cameras. So if you just open up with the default video capture as we've been doing, you will only get like 640 by 480 resolution. But we can actually like go in and specify uh, the resolution of our camera with OpenCV. I'm going to show you how we can do that so we can get way better quality and way higher resolution when you're working with computer vision in OpenCV. So we're not jump straight into Visual Studio Code. I'm just going to show you how we can act like set the, um, the, the width and also the height of our camera so we can specify the exact resolution that we want to work with. Because if you have a budget webcam, you can actually like have a higher resolution in OpenCV compared to the default settings. So OpenCV open up your webcam or like your camera in 640 by 480 and that is not a high resolution if you're working with some specific things or if you just want to have some some like detailed images that you want to do for the processing on but again if you have some simple applications where you just want to do some image processing learning stuff out and so on you might not need more than 640 by 480 but if you're going to create some computer vision applications where you actually like need higher resolution for doing processing and so on this is really helpful again when you increase the resolution of your images it will also take up way more processing power but first of all here, we're just going to import CV2. And then we can basically just open up a webcam as we are used to. So first of all here, we're going to set our cap equal to our video capture. So here, I'm just going to hit tab uh, with Google, uh, with GitHub Copilot here. So we have video capture zero. But here, I'm just going to open up with uh, the dynamic show. So we just have cv2.cap uh, underscore D show. And now we can just go down specify the different kind of like parameters so we can set a number of different kind of parameters i'm going to cover this more in like future videos where we can actually like set some other parameters as well if you we just go into opencv documentation to start with we can see all these different kind of flags uh, we can set in this video capture so this is actually like the, the different kind of like flags you can set up in the actual video capture that i just showed you inside of visual studio um, so we can set up this D show here, as I just mentioned, uh, and I showed you, and we can also set up a lot of other different kind of like parameters. Uh, we can also set up like the brightness, contrast, the saturation, and so on. So I'm going to create another video here on the channel where I'm going to show how we can like change the camera parameters uh, with OpenCV. So we'll get all these sliders for tuning these parameters. So you can actually like fine tune your camera for your specific computer vision application. So we can both like fine tune the brightness, uh, contrast, saturation, hue, and all those different kind of things. We also have some, some white balance. But if you scroll a bit more down, uh, we can actually like see so all of these all of these parameters or like all these flags can be set in the video capture or in the video capture open so this is basically what we just did but we also have some other parameters that we can set with this uh, get method and also the set method on our capture so we just have all these different kind of things here we can see a short description of what they do in this video we're going to set the frame width and also the frame height so we can specify the resolution of our camera uh, just make sure that you actually like, have a camera with that resolution that you're trying to specify. But often when you open up your webcam and like, just like any other like camera, it will open up in 640 by 480 where like most cameras and webcams today is actually like HD or like even full HD. So you can get way higher resolution in your computer vision applications and projects. So we're just jump back into Visual Studio Code. I'm going to show you how we can set the frame width and the frame height. So basically we can just call cap, then we have this set method. We can just type it out here, cv2 cap underscore prop. So this is for the capture properties. We set the frame width equal to 640. This is the default one, but we can also set it to, uh, to some other resolution. I have a webcam here that goes up to HD. If you have full HD, you can also specify that for the width that will be uh, 90, 1920. And then we can also go down and set it for the height. So if you have full HD, it will be 9, 9, 1920 and 1080. Uh, but here I only have like an HD camera. So this will be uh, 1280 by 720. So here, this is just exactly how we can specify the frame width and the height of our camera. And then when we open up our camera, load in the images from our webcam, then we just get uh, this resolution instead of the 640 by 480. So here I'm just going to show you how we can actually like just open up our while loop again, read in a frame, and then I can show you when we actually like open it up. So while true here, instead of while true, I want to have cap dot is opened. 
We just call cap.read, we return the return value, and we also have a frame. So this will be the frame from our camera. We just go in, show the frame that we're actually loading in from our webcam. If we hit Q on our keyboard, we will break out of this while loop. When we break out the while loop, we just want to release our webcam, and we also want to destroy all the windows uh, that we have opened up. So this is basically just a short script for setting the parameters and like setting the frame width and the frame height. So the resolution of our camera. And then we just open up a webcam and then we just show the frame that we're loading in from the webcam. So here I'm just going to run the program and let's see how it works out. So here we're now opened up the webcam with OpenCV. We can now see that we have like a 12, 1280 by 720 resolution. And now we can actually go in and create our computer vision application and based on this resolution. Again, we can see we get a larger frame when we actually like open up our capture. We can also try to go back here. So we can specify 640 by 480. And then we're just going to run the program again. And now we should open up a smaller window here as we can see. So this is the default one, one that it actually like opens up with OpenCV. So if you want to get high resolution in your projects and applications, definitely just like throw in these two lines of code and you should be able to do that. If we just comment these lines out, we would actually like just verify that this is the default uh, settings with OpenCV. So I'm running the program again and we get the exact same results. So this can be useful for a lot of different kind of things. It can increase your like precision and accuracy in your computer vision applications. You can just create some 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 better applications in computer vision here with OpenCV if you just specify these two lines of code and actually like set the parameters of your camera. Again, we're going to create other videos where we're going to look at some of the other parameters and also how we can tune our camera parameters. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. Also like this video if you like the content and you want more in the future. It really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. So I'm doing this computer vision tutorial from scratch where we talk about like basic image processing techniques, um, optic detection, tracking like depth uh, depth estimation how we can use like two cameras like a stereo camera to create point clouds calculate distances to different optics and so on so if you're interested in that tutorial i'll link to it up here or i'll see you next video guys bye for now